Hello guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to install VirtualBox on Windows 10. But before doing that, I highly recommend doing this. As you can see, I already have external SSD, which is a solid state drive. Uh, it's faster than HDD, of course. And uh, it's just a way to protect my files uh, from being lost on my main system. This is why we use VirtualBox. So we can run uh, multiple operating systems on, the, on Windows 10 or on Mac without losing files. Yeah, so I'm just gonna rename it VirtualBox. We go to Google Chrome. Just search for VirtualBox. Click on the first link. I highly recommend download the latest version, which is uh, 6.1. Yeah, as you can see, I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna choose this one. Click on the file you downloaded. Click on next. Now you need to choose the external drive we talked about. Yeah, I'm just gonna search for it. Create a new folder. Let's name it VirtualBox or VB. Yeah, that too. Yeah, then I click on OK. Click Next. Check all the boxes. Then click Next. Click Yes. Then click Install. Then click finish. And here you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hello guys and welcome. So after installing VirtualBox, I'm going to show you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Google Chrome and search for Kali Linux. Click on the first link. Go to Downloads and choose Download Kali Linux. Click on Kali Linux 64-bit live and wait until it's done. Okay guys, so after downloading the file, you go to VirtualBox and click on new. I'm gonna name it Kali Linux. The type is Linux. And the version, as we don't have here uh, Kali Linux, we will uh, choose Debian 64-bit, which is the nearest format for uh, Kali Linux. Then we click on Next. I highly recommend to put it here, which is between the green and red, so we can give it as much as we can from RAM. Then we click on Next. We choose create a virtual hard disk now, then we click create. We choose virtual box disk image, then we click on next. Then we click next again. I recommend putting 25 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Then we click create. Okay. Then we go to settings. Then we click on advanced. We choose bi-directional. So if you want to copy something outside from VirtualBox, you can paste it inside the machine. And we put this to bi-directional. 
everything here is fine but we can do this and put it under uh, 128 megabytes for video memory then we go to storage we choose uh, controller IDE then we click on empty okay so we choose this one then we click on the second one okay we go to our downloaded file and we click on open and then we click ok so now we click start click on start again then we choose the graphical install we click continue again continue continue I'm gonna call the host name Kali as default. Then we click continue. I will call it Kali Linux. And then we click on continue. Then we write here Kali. Then continue. Again continue. I will just put it here root root as an example you can do whatever you want here retype it again then we click continue I'm gonna choose central then we click on continue again on this option we choose use entire disk then we click continue click continue again then I will choose all files in one partition and click continue then we choose finish partitioning and write changes to disk then we click continue here we need to choose yes so we can write the changes to disks and we click continue This will take from 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm just gonna speed up the video. Okay, after the installation is finished, use a network mirror, yes. We click continue. I will just leave it blank, then click continue. And then we click on yes. Then we click this option then we click continue okay so after the installation is complete we click continue okay so let's wait until it boots As you remember, we chose Kali as username before and root root for the password. Then we click on login. And here you go, we have successfully installed Kali Linux on VirtualBox. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.
So first of all, we need a specific version of VirtualBox. So I'm gonna just search for VirtualBox. And I click on the first link. Then you go down and click on VirtualBox Older Builds. Then you click on this one. Then you click on Windows Host. The next thing you need to download is the packet. I will put the links in the description. Just go here. And paste that link. As you can see, here is the packer. You just click on it. Then you click on download. You choose your version. For me, it's Windows 64 bit. I click on download. Then you need to download Vagrant. Let's go back to the first link. This is Vagrant. Then you click on download. Windows 64 bit 2. Download. Okay, now after installing the files, just go to that directory where you downloaded the files. For me, it's on VirtualBox E. Then I extract the packet. I copy it. Then I go to local disk C. I choose program files. Then a new folder. Call it packet. Paste the file here, click on continue, okay, now uh, in the next steps we will run CMD, okay, so we need uh, the packer to be there, so in order to join the packer to the CMD, we go to start and right click, we choose system, system info, advanced system settings then you choose environment variables click on path click on path again click on edit for me I already did it but uh, for you to do it like you just click new when you write C program files back Okay, let's check if the packer is here, go to search, write cmd, right click, run as administrator, packer, as you can see the packer is here and everything is working just fine. Okay, now let's move to the next step. You go again to the downloaded files and you install VirtualBox. Click on next. Next. Next again. Then you click yes. Click install. Click on finish. Now go back to Google Chrome and open VirtualBox site. Go to downloads. You need to download VirtualBox extension pack. You click on all supported platforms. Then you run the file. Then you click install. Click I agree. Now 
Now, what left for us is installing Vagrant on the system. Just double click on it. Click next. Check the box. Click next again. Click next. Then click install. Click on finish. Now we need to restart your PC. Okay. Now what you need to do is go to search. Type CMD. Right click on it. And run as administrator. Okay. Now what you need to do is write. Vagrant. Plug in. Install Vagrant dash reload and click on enter. Okay. Okay. So now what you need to do is this. You go to search, click CMD, run as administrator, you write Vagrant in it and click on enter. Okay, now what you need to do is this, you go to search, search for notepad, Right click on it and run as administrator. Yes. Click on file. Open. Go to local disk C. Choose Windows. Go to System32. And search for Vagrant. To find the file, the encoding must be set to ANSI and all files. Click open. Now, what you need to do is this. You need to select all, delete everything. Go to this link, click copy. Open your browser, paste that link, click enter. Now select all, copy again, go to that notepad and paste, save it, close this window, now write vagrant up and click end. This will take from 10 minutes to 30 minutes, depends on your internet connection. Okay, now after everything is finished, you just need to restart your PC. Okay guys, so after restarting your PC, just open your virtual box because we need to do some settings. As you can see, we already installed Metasploit Will 3. Okay, you go to Tools, Preferences, then you go to Network, and create new one. Click on Properties. I will name it User Network. I will change the IP address to 192.168.99-24 and click OK. 
then you click OK. Now you go to Kali. You click on settings. You click on network. For adapter one, everything is fine. For adapter two, I will choose NAT network. As you can see, now we have the user network. Okay, I will refresh my MAC address. So basically what are we doing here is for Kali, uh, I need it uh, to, to be connected to the internet at the same time. From adapter 2, I want it to listen and receive from Metasploit 3. This is why we created virtual network. Click OK. Now for this machine, you click on settings. You go to network. Disable this one, click on adapter one, then choose NAT network, use a network again. Refresh the MAC address, then you click OK. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. We successfully installed the Metasploitable 3 on VirtualBox. See you in the next video. Let's see if the two machines are listening to each other. Click start. Here you, you click on input, keyboard, insert, control, alt, delete. You click on Vagrant, the password is Vagrant 2. And you click enter here. For here, as you remember from the second video, the username is Kali, the password is root, root. Click on Ask Me Later. Click OK. okay for uh, Metasploit with 3, you click on Command Prompt. And you write IP config. Let's check here. We write IPA, as you can see, this is the IP address for Kali. So let's try to listen to Metasploitable, so I'm just gonna ping and write the address.
dann klick Enter. As you can see, it's listening. Let's try to listen to Kali from Metasploitable 3. I'm just gonna write pink. One nine two one six eight point nine nine point six. Click enter. Okay, so as you can see, everything's fine. So, in this video, we are going to talk about WinRM as a model for exploiting. But before doing that, we need to install Metasploitable on Kali Linux. So, just open your virtual box. Start the Kali Linux machine. Type your username, which is Kali, then type your password, which is root root, and click on login. Now go to web browser. I'm just gonna put the link for you in the description. Then you just download. Save file. Okay, so after finishing downloading, open the terminal and write CD downloads. Okay, so after that, go to file system. Open downloads, right click and click on properties, copy this, then write ch mod plus x point and paste. Then click enter. Then you click sudo point slash. Then you paste again. Then you click enter. Now click on forward, then click accept, then click forward, forward again, then click yes, click forward, 
just leave it like this and click forward click forward again click forward okay now click on finish okay so after finishing you just close every tab then go here and click on all applications go to meet exploit framework click on it now we need to put the password which is root root and click enter now as you can see the program already is starting the service this will take three minutes until it sets up Now we need to set verbos true click enter and here you go now you have the metasploit framework working okay guys so after installing metasploit on Kali Linux and trying to listen between the two virtual machines now let's talk about the first model in metasploit which is WinRM so now we go to Kali again. We go to the terminal and just type msf console. And wait for one minute, I think. So okay, so what's WinRM? WinRM is a command line tool that enables administrators to remotely execute the cmd.exe commands using the WS management protocol. This specification describes a general SOAP-based protocol for managing systems such as PCs, servers, devices, and web services. So it uses two ports, which is 5985 for HTTP and 5986 for HTTPS. Okay, so now as you can see, you can see it's already run. So let's search for WinRM. As you can see, we have uh, five different uh, commands. You can use any of them. Okay, let's try the first one as an example. So just type use space, then you copy that. Then you paste, then you click enter. So as long as it's in red, so everything is working out for you. So the second thing you need to do, which is very helpful for you is show options. And you click enter. So you need to change two things, which is do domain and our hosts. As you can see, it's required. For this, you, you don't need to play with this. Okay, so let's set the domain for our uh, receiving machine so it's set domain background as you remember and we set our hosts One nine two one six eight nine nine point four. Mm -hmm. Then you click on enter. Then all you need to do is run. As you can see, the exploit is complete. If you want to go back to the MSF console to use other models, just click back. And if you want help, sometimes like you will stuck in errors, so just type help 
and you will have everything don't worry it looks like it's overwhelming but like no problem every command have the explanation and description attached to it and yeah thank you so much for watching see you in the next videos Hello guys, so in this video, we will learn three things. First of all, how to find the weakness points in any WordPress site using WP scan. Then I'm gonna show you how to install a new exploits in Metasploit framework. Then after that, we will use the Ninja Forms exploit. So okay, first thing you need to do is go to your Metasploitable 3 machine and click on start, command prompt, right click on it then run as administrator then you will write this command then you click on enter then you go to your browser Then you type your IP address. Then you click on enter. Then you go to your projects. Then you click on WordPress. Then you choose King of Hearts. Then after that, you go to Kali. You open the terminal. Then you write WP scan dash dash update so the main use of WP scan is finding weakness points in any WordPress website so you can find the mistakes the weaknesses so you as pen tester you know what's the problems in the website and you can fix them after that Okay, so after the update is finished, you just write WP scan dash dash URL. Then you write your IP address on Metasploitable 3. Dash WordPress. When you click on. Then you click on enter. And now the tool will scan every single problem. WP scan is already pre installed in your system. As you can see, uh, it's written the URL uh, supplied redirects to this one. Okay, so you just need to it to it so you just need to copy this because it's redirecting you just write again WP scan dash dash URL then you paste this link then you click on enter As you can see, the tool is scanning for any problems. This is a very useful tool. You can use it on any WordPress website, so you can know what's the problems in the site or anything like that. Okay, so as an example, 
Let's check any interesting link we have. We can copy this link and see what's in it. We paste and go. As you can see, you have fatal error, call to undefined function. You need to fix it. And yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go back to Kali. Type clear. Okay, so now let's talk about installing new exploits to your uh, Metasploit framework. Sometimes you need it because uh, you will need a specific ex exploit and you will not find it here. So basically what you need to do is very simple. You go here, then you go to exploit database. Then you search for your desired exploit. For me, I will choose Ninja Forms. Then I will click enter on search. As you can see, we have uh, multiple exploits. Let's choose this one, which we will use now. As you can see, two things are very important, the platform and the type. So let's download it. It's back. Then you download it. I all downloaded it, so let me check it from File Explorer. You go to File Manager, then you go to Downloads, and here is the exploit. You just copy it, then you go to File System, you go to USR, then you choose Share, then you go down until you find Metasploit Framework. Then you go to this folder, then you go to exploits, then you create a new folder. As you can see, I will call it multiple. And in this new folder, and then you open that folder, you create another folder which is the name then you create another folder which is the name of the type which is web apps then you paste that folder now let's check if it's available here now on MS console just type msf console Then you write, update it. B. So you can refresh the database for Metasploit framework. Now it's finished. Let's search for our exploit that we downloaded, which was 41692. Then you click on enter. As you can see, we found our exploit. Now let's use it. You can either use the ID of the exploit or the name. I'm just gonna use this exploit. Then I paste, click on enter. I'm just gonna use the default PHP meter which is reverse TCP. Now you show targets. Now we set the target according to the ID, which is zero. Now you show options.
Now, what you need to know about this exploit, that you need to set the form path, our host, our port, and target URI. So you just write set form path. Then you choose this one. You copy it. Click on enter. Then set the R host, which is 192.168.99.4. Then you set the R port, which is 85.85. Then we set target URI, which is the base path, which is here, WordPress. Then you can either write run or exploit. I'm just gonna write exploit, you click on enter. As you can see, we successfully exploited the website and we uploaded this payload. Now, let's see what we have done. We're just gonna copy this. And then paste it here. Click enter. As you can see, we successfully uploaded our payload here. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you in the next video. Hello guys and uh, welcome to a new video. So today we are going to talk about uh, using PHP my admin model on the Metasploit framework. So let's do it. First of all, I already opened the Kali Linux and the Metasploit v3 virtual machine. Okay, so now what you need to do is this. You go to Kali, then you go to terminal, then you type msf console then you wait for it now you type search php my admin then you click on enter as you can see, you can use different eight models. But before that, let's see what PHP my admin version we have on Metasploit v3. You just go here. You open the command prompt. Okay. You will use the same commands as the previous video. Okay, so let's talk about the service. Uh, we have an application installed which is called WAM. Uh, as you can see when you press on start, here's like you will have a start WAM server. Okay, like if you click on it here, here as you can see we have PHP my admin. Okay, but uh, let's see what version we have. Just click on X, go to File Explorer. You go to WAMP, you click on uh, Apps. As you can see, you have this version 3.4.10.1, which is an old version. 
Okay, so not all of the exploits will work on this one. So we will try to use an old exploit. And whenever you want to use a new exploit, uh, just update this file, okay? You go to your browser and you check for PHP my admin. And you go to downloads, then you choose the version you want to exploit, okay? You download it, then you copy it here. And you will already have it installed after that. Okay, so now let's go to the PHP server we have on this virtual machine. You just search for localhost 8585, you click on enter. You just click on PHP my admin. Okay, as you can see, here's the server. Now let's go back to Kali. As I mentioned earlier, uh, our Metasploit V3 is using old uh, PHP my admin, so we will need an old exploit. So I'm just gonna use the second one. I will click, I will write use. Like here, you can either use the ID, which is two, or you just copy this one. I will just write use two, then click on enter. Um, as you can see here, we're using the default uh, payload configured. Now, you click on show targets. As you can see, the name is automatic, so everything will be fine for that version. You set target to zero, which is the ID of that target. You click on enter. Then you write show options. Okay, now what you need to do is, is to set two things. Now you set our hosts to local host. Then you click on enter. Then you write set our port, which is as you can see from this link, it's 8585, it's running on that port. So you write 8585, then you click on enter. Now let's see the options again, show options. Everything is working fine. Now you either write run or exploit. Then you wait for it. Okay, as you can see, we successfully completed the exploit. Now, if you want to do other exploits, what you need to know. Okay, so as an example, okay, let's just clear this. Right back. Clear again. Okay, now if you want to use another exploits, what you need to know is this. You you right search PHP my admin. Okay, then you go here and you click on exploit database. Search for PHP my admin. As you can see, we have uh, multiple options. So every, every exploit is, uh, is concerned about uh, a specific type of version of, for PHP my admin. So as an example, if you want to use this exploit, you just download it as the, as the previous video. You install it to the Metasploit framework and you go to Metasploit level 3 and you download PHP my admin 4.8.1. So your exploit will work on that version. This is everything you need to know about uh, PHP my admin. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Hello guys, so in this video we will talk about installing Ruby and Ruby on Rails on Microsoft Windows 10. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your browser and search for rubyinstaller.org Okay, and you click on download 
As you can see, there are two options, with DevKit and without DevKit. With DevKit, if you want to install Ruby on Rails, without DevKit is if you want to install only Ruby. As you can see, they already have some type of arrow uh, about which, which is the best version for my Windows, which is 2.6.6-1. Uh, I will install it. Let me put the link for you in a notepad. Now after finished downloading, just click on it. Click on I accept the license, click next. Click install. Click next. And wait until it's done. After finishing installation, uh, you, you need to make sure this box is checked. Then you click on finish. It will start this command prompt. Let me just minimize this. As you can see, for basically we're installing Ruby on Rails, so we need to install the three options. Then just click enter. This will take up to five minutes, depending on your internet speed. Now what you need to do is click enter again and it's finished. Now let's check if we have Ruby installed in our system. Just go to start, search for CMD, right click on it, run as administrator. Okay. Now write Ruby dash dash version. As you can see, we have Ruby installed in our system. Okay, now let's see which type of gems we have installed on our system. So we write gem. So we write gem list. We click on enter. As you can see, we have all of these gems and in already installed. Okay, now what we need to do is install Rails on system. But we want to install Rails without the documentation. So what we need to write is gem install rails dash dash no dash document. Then you click on enter. Okay. So as you can see, we successfully installed 40 gems. As you can see, we have Ruby on Rails 6.0.3.2 on the system. Okay, so let's check again everything we have on our system. You write Ruby version. So we have 2.6.6. And let's check Bundler, which is like uh, installation packer. Yeah, just write Bundler version. As you can see, we have 1.1, 7.2. And let's check for Rails version. Again, we have Rails 6.0.3.2. So, okay, after uh, checking the versions, let's redirect the command prompt to the desktop. So we just write CD. Then we paste it, we click enter. I'm gonna make directory and name it Ruby box. Then you will change the directory to Ruby box. Okay, so now let's create our application. I'm just gonna write Rails new web app. Then I'm gonna click enter. Okay, as you can see, we have an error here. Uh, Node.js is not installed. There's nothing to worry about. Just copy this link. Go to your browser again. 
paste that link, click on enter, choose your version, for me it's Windows installer 64-bit. Now after it's finished, click on it, click next, check the box, click next again, then you click on next, next again, check this box, click next again, then you click on install, click on finish. Now click on enter. Then you click enter again. Now it will automatically install anything recommended for your system using Windows PowerShell. Let me speed up the video. Okay guys, so after finishing installing, the, let's try our server. You just go to start, right CMD again, right click on it, and run as administrator. Okay, now you go to your application, which you made. You copy this directory. Okay, let me go back. You copy this directory. Then you redirect to this. Just write CD. Then you paste that directory. Okay. After the redirection, you redirect again. You write CD. Then you paste it. Then you write Rails server. As you can see, it's already running on port 3000. So you go to your Google Chrome, you search for localhost 3000, click on enter, and here you go. You are on Rails, you have the version 6.0.3.2, and the Ruby version is 2.6.6p146. And yeah. We successfully installed the Ruby on Rails and we created our first application. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Hello guys, so today we will talk about exploiting Metasploitable 3 using JMX server. As you can see, I'm running both Metasploitable 3 and Kali Linux. First of all, you go to Metasploitable 3, you click on start, right click on command prompt, then run as administrator, then you write net start JMX which is Java management extension. As you can see, the service has already been started. Everything is fine. Now, let's check the IP address on the machine by writing IP config. Then you click on enter. And here is our IP address. Now, go to Kali. Open a new terminal. Then write msf console. Then you click on enter. Now type search jmx. Then you click on enter. Then you 
I'm gonna use this exploit so you can either write use 8 which is the ID of that exploit or you can just paste that so yeah use 8 then you click on enter now you show targets then you set the target I'm gonna set it to 0 which is the ID of the target then you show options now you set the R hosts to the IP address of metasploitable 3 then you click on enter then you set the R port which is 1617 this is default for all of JMX servers then you click on enter now you can either write exploit or run I'm just gonna write exploit then you click on enter And here you go, as you can see, we successfully exploited JMX server and we already have Meterpreter. If you want to know what options you can do, you can just write help. And here is a list of multiple commands you can use. Let's see, let me try this one. I will write SYS info. Here you go. Metasploit will 3, Windows Server 2008 R2, Java Windows, the Meterpreter, everything is working just fine. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Hello guys, so in this video, we will exploit Metasploitable 3 using SSH port. So the first thing you need to do is drop those two files. I will include them in the description. You're gonna grab them and drop them to Kali Linux. Okay. Then you go to Metasploitable 3, you click on start, right click on command prompt, then run as administrator. Then you write IP config. Then you copy this one. Then you go back to Kali. You open the terminal. Now what you need to do is map that IP address to see on which port SSH is running. Then you click on enter. As you can see, the service SSH is open on the 22 port. So now what you need to do is run the MSF console by typing MSF console, then you click on enter. Okay, now you type search SSH. Then you search for auxiliary scanner ssh ssh underscore login then you copy it then you write use then you paste that then you click on enter then you type options Let me minimize the terminal. Okay. Now you need to set user underscore file to this file destination, which is dash root or Kali on your system. Then desktop slash user dot txt. Then you set the pass file to the same destination. 
but this time we will use password.txt then you click on enter then you set stop on success true you write set stop underscore on success true then you set verbus true then you show options again let's maximize this one now what you need to set is our host so you need to set our host to 192.168.99.1 Point seven, which is the same on Metasploit with 3 as you remember then you click on enter then you show advanced by writing advanced then you set gather proof false then you show options again Okay, as you can see, everything is just fine. Now let's exploit. Just try to exploit or run as you want. Then you click on enter. Now it's trying the passwords. As you can see, we successfully completed the exploit on the username Vagrant and the password Vagrant. Now let's see the sessions we opened by typing sessions. As you can see, we have a shell. Now let's use the first one by typing sessions one then you click on enter now let's see what's on uh, metasploit level three as an example we write ls and here you go we successfully completed the exploit using the ssh module on the metasploit framework thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos So in this video, we will exploit Manage Engine on Metasploitable 3 virtual machine. First of all, you go to Metasploitable 3, then you go to your browser, then you type localhost 8020, then you click on enter. Now, in the username, you write admin, in the password, you write admin2, then you sign in. Okay, after you logged in. You go back to Kali, then you click on Terminal, you type MSF Console. Now you search for Manage Engine. So we will use this exploit, which is concerned about Manage Engine Desktop Central 9. So you can either write use 25, which is the number of the exploit, or you simply paste this one. Then you click on enter. Now you show targets. Then you set the target to zero. Now let's see options. Now you set the R hosts to 192.168.99.1. Which is the IP address on Metasploit Will 3. You can simply find it by going to start, command prompt, then typing IP config. You can see it's here. Now you go back to Kali. Then you click on enter. Now you exploit. Now let's see what we can do with that meter plater. Just type help. As you can see, we have multiple commands. Let's try one of them. Let's try sys info. 
here you have the operating system is Windows 2008. Yeah, and here you have everything. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So in this video, we will exploit Metasploitable 3 by using the Elastic Search model. Okay, this model exploits a remote command execution or RCE, which you can find in Elastic Search 1.1.1, which is already installed on our Metasploitable 3. So now, as you can see, I'm running both Metasploitable 3 and I'm running Kali Linux. First of all, you go to Metasploitable 3, then you head to your browser and you write HTTP localhost 9200, then you click on enter. As you can see, we already have that version running. Okay. Now, let's see if the service is working. You go to command prompt, right click on it then run as administrator then you write net to start plastic search dash service dash x64 then you click on enter as you can see the requested service has already been started so everything is working just fine now you go to Kali then you open a new terminal. Now, if you want to see other services that's already running on Metasploitable 3, you can just use nmap, as I mentioned in previous videos. Then after writing nmap, you go to Metasploitable 3, you go to command prompt, then you write ipconfig, then you paste this IP address to Kali. Okay. 192.168.99.6 then you click on enter and here you go this is a shortcut to elastic search which is running on port 9200 okay so now what you need to write okay let me clear now write msf console then you search for elastic search In this video, we will use the second exploit. So you can either write use to, or you can paste the name of that exploit. I'm gonna use to and click enter. Now we show targets. Then you set the target to zero, which is the ID that target then you click on enter then you show options now what you need to type is set our hosts to the IP address of metasploitable 3 then you click on enter now you can either write run or exploit I'm just gonna write exploit then you click on enter And here you go, you successfully exploited Metasploitable 3 using the Elastic Search. Now we have Metapreter. If you want to see what type of commands you can use, you can just write help. And here you go, as you can see, there is multiple commands that you can use. I'm gonna write SYS info to see the system from Kali. And yeah, this is everything you need to know about exploiting using the Elastic Search. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.
Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will exploit Metasploitable 3 virtual machine using the Apache Access 2 exploit. As you can see, I already started both of the virtual machines, Metasploitable 3 and Kali. So the first thing you need to do is go to Metasploitable 3 virtual machine. Then you go to your browser. Then you write HTTP localhost 8282 slash access to Then you click on enter If you can see the screen, everything is working fine Now, you go to start Right click on command prompt, then run as administrator Okay Now, you simply write IP config To know the IP address on this virtual machine And here you go, you have it here Now you go to Kali, you open a new terminal, then you write MSF console. Now you search for access to deployer. In this video, we will use the third exploit. So you can either write use free or you can paste the name of the exploit. So I'm just gonna write use 3, then click enter. Now you show targets. Okay, now you set the target to Windows by typing set target. Then you write the ID of that target, write one, then you click on enter. Now, as the target is Windows, we need to change the payload from Java to Windows. So you set payload. Windows slash meter reader slash reverse underscore TCP then click on enter okay now we show options then you set the R hosts to the same IP address on Metasploit will 3 then you set the R port to 8282 as you can see from here then you click on enter now you can either write exploit or run I'm just gonna write exploit then I click on enter as you can see we successfully completed the exploit let's see what we have done I'm just gonna copy this one then go back to meet exploitable 3 then I'm gonna clear access to and paste that path then I click on enter as you can see we successfully uploaded the payload thank you so much for watching